years ago, the best means available for reaching a forest fire in roadless and trailless factory was by man on foot. Weary from miles of cross-country travel, the smoke chaser had the back-breaking job of putting out the fire after he got there. Although horse-drawn transportation to the back country was replaced by the faster motor vehicle over new forest roads, it provided speedier travel only to certain destinations. And at the end of the road, the firefighter still had to take to the brush for the final stage of his journey. In fighting forest fires, time is precious. Even the fastest combination of vehicle, horse, and foot travel permitted small fires to gain momentum and become conflagrations before they could be reached and controlled. Then in 1940 came the smoke jumpers. Now the firefighter has a chance in his race against time to corral the fast-moving fire demon. Started as an experiment a few years ago, the project has sustained a steady growth along with perfected techniques followed by increasingly satisfactory results. Now, it is regarded as an important and highly effective means of getting action in the back country of three Forest Service regions. It requires a lot of know-how and physical stamina to be a smoke jumper. On actual training jumps, the instructor is with the beginner through the use of a directional public address system and is able to instruct the jumper while in the air. The trainee must be conditioned for jumps into rugged, timbered wilderness to put out fires and then hike out 20 or 30 miles. He must be trained to maneuver his parachute to suitable landing spots. After applicants have been screened according to certain mental and physical standards, they attend classes at a training camp. This is the period for indoctrination and the training curriculum, safety codes, and standards are explained. There are lectures on theory and the history of parachuting with demonstrations of the type of parachutes used. The instructor describes a standard 28-foot flat type parachute canopy, so-called because the silk or nylon forms a 28-foot circle. The seven-foot openings in the canopy are steering slots, and air jetting from them gives the chute forward motion. And always remember, your feet together and roll on landing. If you remember and follow the basic rules, you will arrive safely ready for the job ahead. 